St. Lucia has taken a major leap into the future, showcasing the latest avenue for the marketing and promotion of the island as a destination. The Ministry of Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information partnered recently with the Embassy of Taiwan to host a robot festival which introduced St. Lucia's tourism offerings virtually. Details in this report. We're at the Pigeon Island National Landmark where prospective visitors and investors are being treated to an authentic St. Lucian experience through the use of technology, a robot named Davo. This initiative seeks to entice them to make St. Lucia their choice for business or leisure. The robot festival was an interactive, instantaneous exchange between Taiwan and St. Lucia that began with welcome remarks from St. Lucia's Minister for Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hilaire. Viewers in Taiwan then journeyed virtually through Pigeon Island with stops at the soldiers' barracks, where they were furnished with facts about the site's rich history. This place is a very special place in the history of St. Lucia. At one time, we were one of the most treasured colonies during the colonial wars. And this place was a lookout spot to see all the warships that move up and down and for the various naval battles to take place. At one time, it was an island. And in the 1970s, it was connected to our mainland. It is now a place where St. Lucians go for recreation and for special activities. So in welcoming you to join us, we are welcoming you from a place which is very special in our hearts. Ambassador of Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen was present at the event and explained that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Taiwan conceptualized the event to display the tourism offerings of Taiwan's diplomatic allies. I think Taiwan is a very important uh, partner of uh, St. Lucia's economic development and this time the focus is on tourism industry. Last year we uh, threw uh, Caribbean and Pacific region uh, agricultural products and tourism uh, campaign. Uh, we showcased uh, uh, St. Lucia's products and also uh, tourism but this time we use high-tech to approach to uh, showcase uh, the real uh, scenery uh, in St. Lucia and lack like Taiwanese to feel, to have a, a, a little sense of the, the real uh, scenery and the beautiful uh, uh, landscape of uh, St. Lucia. The tour proceeded to a rich showcase of St. Lucia's culture. The Taiwanese contingent enjoyed the sounds of steel pan, performed by jazzy music, and a vibrant carnival display by high impact promotions featuring island tribe carnival costumes. The Helen folk dancers, dressed in warped duet, performed the quadrille expertly with musical accompaniment by Mamai Lakai. The cultural showcase culminated with a grand masquerade portrayal by Silver Shadow dancers, assisted by the Lapo Cabrit drummers. St. Lucia's Minister for Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hiller stated that the technology used by the Taiwanese Embassy actually displays future possibilities. It tells us that now through technology you can have live presentations of sites and attraction and to actually um, project it around the world. Uh, and I think it's an exciting technology. I mean, you would have seen today <clears throat> some of the little challenges in using it, but I think it's still early stages of using such technology and such a medium for the promotion and marketing of St. Lucia. So for sure it is something that we will need to look into. I think it will be very exciting to be able to use this technology and this um, mode of, you know, of promotion and it really tells us just how much we can expand the, the, the promotion of St. Lucia. The robot festival tour moved to Fort Rodney where the Taiwanese audience enjoyed breathtaking panoramic views of the north of the island. St. Lucia's ambassador to Taiwan, His Excellency Edwin Laurent, while addressing the audience in Taipei, Taiwan, encouraged participants to place St. Lucia on their list of places to visit. The session that has been organized by MOFA and Taitra is so very timely. You know what we are seeing today and we're beginning to see is something that is really spectacular. We think, and we're not just saying this because that's where we're from, but St. Lucia is really the pearl, the prize 
of the, of the Caribbean. The minister said it, the British and the French were fighting over it. It was a special colony. But now it is available to all of you to visit, and I can assure you that if you can come see us in St. Lucia, you will not regret it. We end this exciting showcase in hopes that our friends in Taiwan make St. Lucia their destination of choice. This was a joint initiative between the government of Taiwan and the government of St. Lucia.